Good morning. <laughs> that I saw you grooving off camera. I was dancing too. That just it just has a nice little. A nice it little does it has it. a nice little beat to it. I still am not mm -hmm. bored of it. No, I love it. I love our intro. Me too. Happy Saturday. Happy Saturday. Happy first Saturday of September. Look, I wore leaves. You wore leaves. <laughs> I wore leaves. I'm so excited for fall. I put my leaves on today. Some people worry about not wearing white. Manny worries about when she can wear leaves. I wore my leaves. Listen, I put I put fall out last week. And my son's like, how come it's not Halloween? And I was like, I was tempted. I was tempted to just go straight to Halloween. And then I was like, I'm going to get fall a couple weeks. Probably mid-September is going to start Halloween. Good for you. Because I love Halloween. Awesome. I and I had a bubbling cauldron that I made that smoke comes out of. And I'm so excited. I remember you shared that on Instagram. I didn't know that you that you enjoyed Halloween that much. We're going to have to have some fun in October then. Oh, Halloween is my favorite. Absolute okay. favorite. Halloween. Yep. Challenge it. accept it. Yes. Yes. But it is September. Yes. Um, I think you and I were talking before we went on air. We're both experiencing a little bit still like that new teacher tired <laughs> yes. um, or back to school tired. We're not new teachers. Um, back to school tired. And I had a uh, four out of five events this week. So there was only one night we were, I was home and we recorded for that, the podcast, which was so much fun. Yes. So you it. are, but you are, yeah, you're new admin tired. Yes, I am new admin tired. Absolutely new admin tired. And I don't know if it's my makeup of students, which I'm I'm so excited for. Like I can already see like it's so fun when you have a group of students and you're like you can see the potential that like where they're gonna get to at the end of the year or you hope. Um, but I feel like I'm like 45 plus teacher tired. You know, like I don't know, like it's what it is. Like it just feels different. Like my why do my knees hurt? And why do my legs feel stiff from standing too long? I'm like. I don't remember this last year. I'm like, or maybe it's like, like what they say about like giving birth, like, it, like the school year is like that too. Like you forget how the beginning of the year is. And maybe that's just our way of surviving. Well, I can tell you why my legs and feet are tired. I'm getting 10 to 15,000 steps a day in my new job. And so, and going from seven in the morning until like last night, 11 o'clock at night. So that's why I'm tired. Because I'm going a lot, walking a lot. But yeah. um, also, though, my brain just, I i was telling somebody last night, because they asked, how do you like your new job? I absolutely love it. Um, new problem every day. Mm -hmm. I get to just problem solve and, and apply. I feel like all of this knowledge that I've gained from the classroom and how students work and how teachers work, I get to apply this to new situations. And so maybe it's still just new, but so far... I like the challenge of it. So that's awesome. That's awesome. Yeah. yeah, no. And I would say like thinking on that, like the amount of decision-making you have to make as an educator, it feels just like really present in my, like in the forefront of my mind, because that's the exhaustion too. Like, it's just, you don't do that in the summer while you're sitting on the couch, <laughs> even if you're creating and, you know, being yeah. busy with your family, there's, there's no level of problem solving, like a teacher problem solver, you know? True story. True story. Um, but today's September 2nd. That's the first Saturday in September. And that means it is our doodle and chat classy Saturday. So that's very exciting. Uh, one of my favorites. They're all my favorites, actually. So like this is just my first. Say that every time. This is our favorite. Yeah, this is my first Saturday of the month favorite. I love classies, though. Um and I've used a lot of these in the classroom. And so now my challenge is going to be, how can I either share these with my staff or how can I use these with my staff? Because I love using our classes in the classroom. And so yes. that's going to be a new challenge. Agreed. Agreed. I do. They do tend to make their way into my classroom in one way or another, for sure. And this one, um, we were racking our brains for a September one because we had a lot of ideas saved. And then all of a sudden I'm like, guess what, Mandy? All of our saved ideas are done. What are we going to do this month? Um, but we found one. I had seen somebody doing some scribble art, which we, I think we've even maybe done one before. I'd have to go back into the archives. Um, but I said, how about we do a scribble sketch note? And um, I am so excited 
for today's. I had a blast making the example for this for the classy. Um, so I can't. I like. I'm already like. I kind of get a Mandy vibe because usually you do the examples. So I now do. I'm feeling like what you feel like. You you know how it feels, and so now you get to go like just a step up because you know what you're getting into. And now that's how I feel. Good. Good. Okay. okay, I'm ready. ready. So, um, for anybody who's interested in our one pager, there's a link to the one pager. Actually, it's a link to the folder that keeps all the classes in there. Um, so you can print it out and have it for yourself. It's it's a one page of directions. And Mandy and I really try very hard. Actually, we've always, we always do um, stick to a one page direction. So it's a nice, easy activity. Um, yeah. And I think we also, Mandy, we try to do activities that, you know, could be just given directions and students could mostly follow by themselves too. It's not too many directions. Right. It's not too hard. Um, all right. So for Scribble Sketch Notes, you need a pen or paper, pen, pencil, got my Sharpie. Oh, you're going, you're going old school. I'm going old school today. Woo! That makes me I so happy. the sound of Sharpie on paper today. My brain needed that today. So. Yes. So you need a pen or a pencil, Sharpie, whatever your favorite writing tool is, drawing tool is, and just a, a white piece of paper. Um, and then Mandy and I are going to turn our cameras on and we're going to start by scribbling. Um, I saw a lot of different, when I was exploring scribbles, I did. I explored scribbles. Um, Cause at first I was going to use Canva to create the template for the scribbles. I ended up hand drawing it cause it was just way better, but there's lots of different ways you can scribble. But I do know that when you're um, creating, this is going to be the container for our sketch note. So the thing that holds it all, um, you want to kind of leave some white spaces. So like a loopy scribble, kind of like a, you know, a loopy scribble. <laughs> is a good, did, did your cardboard fall off? <laughs> so that's that's my only advice about um about the scribble the, the setting up the scribble so we're going to start by scribbling so i wouldn't go like you know hardcore scribble although you know what you totally could i mean who's to say there's rules about this i did not yeah. know so like loops like this yeah so like just i'm just gonna just oh pick a pen that works number one tip that's a pro tip, by the way. A pen that works. Oh, a pen that works. You know what? Pen works. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So it just, you, I'm just going to, you know, just loop around. Oh, okay. Which okay. I really enjoy. Like, I feel like this is a good relaxation kind of. I mean, I just made a mistake, but really it's a scribble. So. Oh, do I need to keep going? No. Do you think That's I awesome. have enough? You're a very good scribbler, Mandy. Thank you. Thank you. I want to be a good loopy scribbler. <laughs> well, I also saw, <laughs> let me see. Let me just get out a scrap piece of paper. I also saw, like, I feel like there is like a lot, like we could level this up. Like seriously, like I saw somebody scribble. This is just a scrap piece of paper or I saw a scribble that went like this, like, around, and I was like, oh, that would be a fun, oh. kind of, like, like, if you got fancy with the scribbles, you know? Yeah. But we're not so, gonna... Somebody else that I've seen that does just the art with this, and she's one of our favorite people that we watch on TikTok, you and I. I think she's an art teacher, yeah. Um, or at least a former art teacher. And yes. when she would do kind of these big loopies, and then she would say, come back and anywhere there's the V, make it a U. And then she like makes these less harsh. So she goes like that. Oh, yeah. And and so she said there's something also very relaxing about that. So if, if you wanted to take this from sketch note and then transition that into a relaxation, like, and then she goes ahead and then, you know, makes those lines thicker so that they connect. But anyway. When I saw her do that, she almost always does it on her loopy. Now, she also paints inside of it. And we're going to not paint inside of it. Correct. Okay. So the directions for the for the scribble sketch note, um, you know, you have your containers. Now you need a topic just like you would for any other sketch note so that you can anchor your thinking. And your sketch note is all about that. And sketch note topics can be, can be anything. anything. 
Um, Mandy and I are going to pull from, we'll see how this goes. We don't know how this is going to work <laughs> because that's how we usually roll. We're going to pull from the bowl. And in the bowl are our random questions that we usually ask our doodle and chat guests, friends. Um, so I figured this will go two ways. One, we'll get one question and it'll take through all of it, which I think it actually can once I explain how we're going to fill it up or we'll just keep pulling as we need to fill. Okay. Okay. My eyes are, are oldish. They're good. They're just oldish. Old I like it. Well, I used to get away with maybe glasses, the reader sometimes. Now it's always. They just, my eyes are like retired, Carrie. Get, put the glasses on. Stop. Put the glasses put on. Put the glasses on already. I don't like this question. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay. Well. Okay. We'll do it. Okay. What is the best pair of shoes you have ever owned? Why are you so boring today, Bull? He, Bull must know something. The bull must know something. So maybe we could just call this a favorite shoes sketch note. Yeah. 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 So I like to start by putting my topic somewhere on my sketch note. And so it really can go, it can go anywhere you wanted to. I figure you could even really write it bold. You know, if I wanted to get a different pen and write favorite shoes here. Um, and then once I the top to follow, like I kind of want mine to follow right there. Yep. Or I was thinking I could go down the side or on the top yeah. even. Um, and then once you have your topic, then you're going to fill your sketch note with images and words about your topic. But what we all, a thing I also added into the, the one pager is we've been doing a lot of Zentangles. So Zentangles could fill patterns and shapes can also fill yes. your, your, um, you know, I love a good Zentangle. I also feel like the Zentangle, sorry, go ahead. You can draw while I talk. Okay. I also feel like the Zentangles could be a great um, halfway point for your students who aren't quite, quite ready to, to draw in a scribble, but you want to add that level of doodle in a, in a scribble. So you've, now you've got words and just shapes and patterns. And so it's less um, intimidating. I like it. Me too. All right. Let's see. So now you have to start thinking about things about your favorite shoes. Well, I, I just like, I have mental images of my favorite shoes. So I'm going to see if I can, we're going to see how this goes. I don't know if I can draw my favorite shoes. No, that's what I'm scared of too. And the thing I like about the scribbles too is when I start to get stuck, I just go to the I I go to the untangle. Like I'll just yeah. you know fill so, out. I'm looking for my colored pencils because one of my favorite pair of shoes was a pair of Toms, except mm -hmm. that they were like these multicolored, like woven. Because you know I love fall and Halloween and they were like oranges and reds and yellows and they were all woven together and they were beautiful. I literally wore those shoes out. Nice. Wore them until you couldn't wear them anymore. So I want some color on those. I picked the oldest thing of colored pencils. And you know, if I were in the classroom and a student was like, can I color on this also? I would say, absolutely. Whatever yeah. makes you happy. Yes. I also found when I was doing the sample too that um, the more comfortable I got, the outside of the scribbles are a really fun place to hold things. So we think, yeah, we think of the inside as the container, but really like there's ways to use the outside. Like I on the sample one I did, I love animals. 
and I had a cat and I drew a cat on the outside of a, of a scribble. That was really fun to draw. Like using the scribble as... No, I wasn't that creative, but it like the scribble is where the cat was laying. I love it. Yeah. So that's also very fun. Um, yeah. Well, this, right. Now it's giving me, okay, giving me vibes. I never can keep track of the Sharpies that are good. I feel like it might. Oh, there it is. Okay. Well, maybe that's why I put them in there. Maybe they're the old ones. Hmm. Oh, yeah, that's why. Huh. The cup that I take my Sharpies from. And now I remember why there's so many Sharpies in there. They're the ones that I've used and I've, I have I save, and but I keep pulling from it. And I wonder why they don't work. Okay. So I just had a childhood memory of shoes. Did you ever have the ruse where you could zip the side of your shoe and like you could put a quarter in there and you could zip it back up? Yeah, yes. And then also the Keds where you could change the color of the Swish. Both of those came to mind. Keds or Nikes? Um, There was a shoe where you could, you could change out the... I don't think it was yeah. Keds. It what wasn't. Was it? What was that? I remember those. Yeah, you could. Yeah, you could switch out this, the color. Yeah, yeah. I remember those. What were those? I don't remember. I'm going to do a Google search. That's crazy. I don't think it was like a name. I think it was like an off, not like a unique brand. You know, like a on their own, and they didn't last very long. What were they? Capas. Oh, the little, they had little snap in pieces. K A E P A. Oh, and now they're like the cheerleader shoes. Yeah. Right? Yeah. But for a while they were just regular yeah, people shoes. Have those and you could just change your colors out. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my God. Shoe memories. Remember when the jelly sandals were all the rage? I do. Those were so uncomfortable. Yeah, and your feet sweat, and it literally pooled in the bottom, and it was so absolutely disgusting. Yeah, and if you had white feet, they would just, like, squish out of them. Yep. I'm going to have to add a little color, too, to this one, so... So I went rogue and kind of went outside the, the bubble on that one, but my Doc Martens, and so I own a pair of Doc Martens that I purchased, um, and I said London, that may not be right. Trafalgar, Trafalgar Square, is that London? I did not know. I think that's right. I'm not your, I'm not your map girl. I'm sorry. That's okay. Um, anyway, I bought them. At the original Doc Martin store. Oh, fun. Trafalgar Square. I'm pretty sure that's where it was at. I had a, a lot of Doc Martens, I remember, and they lasted me for forever. So did you have the sandals or the boots? 
These were Mary Janes. I still oh. have them. Oh, okay. I have them because they are super heavy. Yes. I remember when my tea wanted to get some, and I'm like, I don't know that you know how those feel. I'm like, they are a comfortable shoe, 100%. Yeah. But they're heavy. Oh, my gosh. So incredibly heavy. I loved those shoes so much. Um, and I wore them all the time. I'm trying to think some of my favorite shoes through the years, though. I know. So one of my favorite shoes right now, and I they may be favorites because... Um, I got yeah, what, what are you wearing walking those 15,000 steps? Are you, do you have, well, like so I have a new pair of shoes that I'm wearing now. Um, they're called Suaves. It's a new shoe that I've been trying out. Um, and I like it. And so they're slip ons, so they fit like a tennis shoe. Good morning, Keisha. Oh, Keisha's here. Good morning. <laughs> Gum shoes. Um, anyway, they fit like tennis shoes and you can buy new inserts for them because they're completely washable. Um, and then like, I just, I've worn them so much. I've already replaced the insoles on them, but the insoles are like $11. So it's like getting a new pair of shoes every few months if you wanted. Um, nice. Or you can have one pair that you wash while you're wearing the other, like yeah. one pair of inserts that you wash, but the shoes themselves are washable. You just throw them in the washer. Nice. Like they're designed that way. Um and I love them. Super comfortable. Well, and I also love that Keisha has gone with her own topic from shoes. Yeah, we're not quite sure, Keisha, why, what the bull had in mind with shoes, you know. Um, but we're rolling with it. But Keisha's doing people. I kind of love that. That kind of goes so. along with Keisha. I would imagine there will be some gratitude involved with the people that she... Um, sketch notes about. So I know in high school, um, I had the high tops. Where you would wear the tongue out. <laughs> do you remember that? Yes, I do not think I ever um, went for that style, though. I definitely did. Those look like ice skates, but we're going to go with it. It's fine. But yeah, the high top shoes and. Oh, the Sperry's. The Sperry boat shoes. Never got into that. Did, did I you? loved my Sperry's. I did do um, penny loafers for a while. <sighs> okay. So I feel like that's kind of the same. A little bit, yeah. Right now, I really like my colorful shoes. I love my Vans. I was a Converse person for a while. Now I love my Vans. So how comfortable are Vans? Because um, I'm, I'm actually going shoe shopping today. I love them. There's, there's just, there's no support. So like, it, you're literally going to be walking flat. Do you know what I'm saying? So. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and I'm okay with that. I just make sure they're nice and big, you know, big enough so that my feet aren't squished. And I, I bought, just bought a, two, a, a couple pair of slip-ons and I've got the tied ones. Um, but yeah, your feet are just, you know, are just so flat. The other pair of shoes I haven't gotten into, but I know a lot of people love the Hey Dudes. I don't know those. Hey, okay. Well, they are very squishy on the inside. Um, very squishy on the inside. I just, I don't know. They, they kind of remind me of Sperry's a little bit, except they're like, okay, cross between a Sperry and a Van. I'm going to be honest. Okay. That's what it is, a cross between Sperry's and Van. But the insides are squishy, and a lot of people are like so comfortable. I've tried them on, and I have a really wide front part of my foot and a really narrow back part of my foot, so shoes don't always fit me quite right. And I feel like Hey Dudes kind of fit into that category. But I did. I did buy, and I'm calling them old lady shoes 
Um, I bought some Skecher heels and they're like spongy. And I tried them on and Tori's, my daughter Tori, she's like, those are old lady shoes. I'm like, well, I think I'm an old lady, so I'm going to wear these. And she had the most comfortable heels I've ever had on. Tori didn't keep you from buying them? Oh, I bought them. I bought oh, two man. pairs. I bought black and white. Listen, I can walk my school in these shoes, okay? And they're dressy. <laughs> I bought old lady shoes. Oh, <laughs> So Keisha did comment and I, Keisha, I, I had my suspicions about why shoes were not going to be your favorite topic when you have big feet and I can relate. I wear a size 11 women's your, your journey in shoes up until like the last couple of years w was never very fun um, because there just wasn't um, great shoes out there. I think the thing that I'm lucky about and my shoe preferences is like vans are gender neutral. So when you can dip into the men's side of side of shoes, which I, I mean, growing up, I bought a lot of men's gym shoes. Um, then it, it helps, it helps your pool of shoes, but um, it's a struggle for women with larger feet for sure. I mean, I'm certain that I have feet problems now because I tried to squeeze into shoes that were too small, or I thought that ha having feet that looked big was not attractive. Um, so yeah, I know. Yeah. A lot of little, little bit of, you know, foot history there, <laughs> but you know, everything's just ebbs and flows when it comes to life with fashion and body images, you know, it's just so, you know, we have our own struggles, you know, we hope our kids don't, but our generation, oh boy, there was lots. Yeah, right? absolutely. Absolutely. Somebody, so I, I'm going to be honest with you. I have really loved the uh, high rise jeans phase because for those of us who have had some life experiences and maybe our body is reflecting those life experiences, it holds things in. I yeah. am buy as many as those as I can. And I don't care when they go out of style. I'm still going to wear well, them. So low, <laughs> so low rise is literally the worst thing ever because it doesn't, that you bend down, things are not covered. Like, yes, yes. things are showing in the I back. I love the high rise. I think they're, they're going to coming stare. back. I Low rise are coming back. So, then I will, I will scoop up all the high rise jeans yep. because, yeah, I forever want those in my closet. Just, just hold it all in. I yep. just need you to hold it all in. And then the mid rise, some of them are okay, but it's just right for like those of us who have had children. Like, I've had four children. Things just don't look the same that they used to. Those mid-rise hit in a spot where like there's a little bit extra above it. It's not okay. <laughs> yeah. I just, I'm all about comfort now, you know, and feeling really good in what you wear. Absolutely. So I had a pair of sandals that were very unique. Um, they had, they were like flip-flops, except they had a spot for every toe we called them my toe shoes and literally you put your feet in and it separated your toes out no they were the most comfortable shoes i've it's like flip-flop type shoes i've ever had on honestly my toe shoes that would make my toes not happy you would think that but something about the way that it separated your feet it actually aligned your foot properly oh that makes sense i loved those shoes love them so much i do have my fair share of birkenstocks i love those those are my preferred sandals and then i have and i know sperry's are not necessarily in style anymore but I have a pair of Sperry's and the inside of them are the most beautiful plaid color you could ever imagine. <laughs> and I am here for that. Let me just tell you. Sperry duck boots.
Yeah, Keisha says when you're comfortable, you feel and you feel you feel confident and relaxed. I I I agree. I agree. I mean, we could pull from the bowl and merge. No, let's stick with our shoes. I think let's stick. I think we're on, we're in a good place. I just have to think of more shoe things. Oh, see, and I filled all mine. Now you have to. Now you have to find the other spaces. See that? Yep, there you go. So because Keisha, you know, can type and draw at the same time. Um, <laughs> so Keisha, how is your family scribble sketch note coming? So are you talking about your, um, about your immediate family, like your kids and, and husband? I know you spent some time with your uh, siblings recently. So are you, are you putting in some memories or how is that, how is that taking shape for you? So I have to admit, Mandy, I, I secretly really love that this sketch noting technique um, or style brings ins and tangles into it almost naturally. I, you know, I always love a good. I know you do. Love a good Zentangle. Sorry, I was trying to turn off that ding. That's okay. Didn't realize I forgot to put it on. Do not disturb. It's all good. Every once in a while, your phone likes to let us know that it has a ringer on it, and that's okay. Okay, well, I put it on do not disturb, and it's still dinging, so we're just going to call it background music. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> it has a mind of its own. It does. It's like, I'm here, people. Did you know? I actually work... And, and, you know, show all your fun stuff. Give me some credit here. I know. Oh, so Keisha's remembering about her mom and her siblings are awesome, but I'm not drawing about them today. I don't know how to turn that off. I'm going to have to Google it because I should be able to control that from my watch. Well, can you turn the volume off? Uh, it is off. Oh, that's, <laughs> that's why I said I don't know what else to do. Like I turned the volume off. I it's put a, it on do not disturb. So I don't know. It's a ghost. It is. All right. So I have a lot of blank space and I'm running out of ideas. I think I'm going to go for like, like just basic characteristics of shoes, like their clothing. I'm just gonna go for like that that zone. See how that goes.
Now, one of the one of the shoes that my daughter would put on here, remember when the hunter boots were all the rage with with the kids? Are those the, the are those the uh the rain boots? Uh-huh. Those yeah. I heard those are heavy and warm. They are, and you can even get liners for them like for winter, but you had to have the skinniest legs. Like you could not have any muscle whatsoever on your leg to fit inside of those things. Like I'd put it on and hit halfway up my calf. <laughs> so you, I mean, you had to be like nothing in your leg to get those. If it, I'm like, who wears these? I didn't even think about slippers. I love slippers. Um, slippers are shoes. They are. You know, I have a pair of slippers that I wear when we have pajama day at school. They are Yoda slippers, of course. Big old Yoda heads that I flop around in. Um, I'm going to have to see how that works as an admin if I can flop through the school in my Yoda slippers because they don't stay on very well. It's like, oh, I should have made each end of this like the end of a shoe. I had already done something to the other end, but where it started and end, you know, the little. So if you watch the movie Cocktail with Elizabeth Shoe and Tom Cruise, an old old shoe in there, she tries to convince him that the end piece on those shoes is called the flugel binder. And is she that what it's called? Huh? It's not called that, right? I don't I don't know. I don't think I've ever really looked it up. But, but she told me this whole story about how the guy who invented the end, like the piece that goes on the end of a shoelace is called a flugel binder. I don't know why that stuck with me in that movie. I also love that movie. So, Well, that's so funny you said that because I did have a, a fleeting moment where I thought, oh, could we make this look like a sh one giant shoelace? Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Great minds. Totally. And then Keisha said her second born had light up shoes. I, we, I, we were too old for those, but yeah, light up shoes. Oof. Yes. As a matter of fact, I saw some in the stands last night at the football game. They're still a thing. I know my kids love their light up shoes. Yeah. We never had any wheelie shoes in our house. No, you know, that's something that we never had either. I think I always told my kids, you'll kill yourself with those things. No. <laughs> I was just thinking that gave me an idea. Oh, yeah. Oh, shoot, I messed it up. Oh, well.
<laughs> I actually put toe shoes there. Because that's what we called them, toe shoes. They that's had a name. I don't remember what the name was now. But we called them my toe shoes, so... All right. Oh, you have socks. I love it. Well, I put a I put a lot of different feet coming out. That's um, fantastic. Oh my gosh, the one with the toes, the best. I should have drawn. I should have used this. So you had more interlap overlapping pieces, and I didn't have as many, and so. Um. Aglet, Phineas and Ferb episode that is what the end of the shoelace that is covered. Way to go, bringing a Phineas and Ferb into the into this. There you go. So not flugel binder. <laughs> <laughs> well, now I'm thinking of all kinds of different shoes. I mean, you have the good old flip flop in there. Um, I do. I have a flip flop right here. Yeah. Did you do a flip flop too? That I didn't because that is not one of my favorite shoes. Flip flops just do not stay on your feet very well and they're not comfortable. So surprisingly, the toe shoes were fine with me, but just one thing between my big toe, not a fan. Not a fan. <laughs> All the toes fine. One toe, no. I have a pair that I absolutely love and I can't find them anymore. They're just really thin and and. I don't like that they make flip flops heavy now. Yeah. yeah. So I'm I'm anti heavy flip flops. So I'm waiting for these pair to this pair to bite the dust. But so far, knock on wood, they're they're hanging in there. But they're my favorite nice. black flip flops. They're my summer flip flops. Nice. I mean, I guess they wouldn't be my winter flip flops, but <laughs> they're my favorite flip flops. Well, I have a pair of boots, like little booties, made by Born. Also, super comfortable shoes. Like I could wear those all day too, and my daughters and also TikTok informed me that the low booty isn't in style anymore. And I'm like, cause I love those also to be fair, I've worn them out. So <laughs> I probably need to buy another pair. So this year's boot style is supposed to be like above the ankle. Okay. But not like a full boot. And they're like, they have buckles and stuff. Like they kind of remind me of cowboy boots. I'm like, that's not cool. Yeah, no, I'm not, I'm not going to be owning that. I won't be joining that trend. I, yeah. So I don't know what I'm going to do about the whole, I'm going to have to replace my boot, my little booties, but well, honestly, I'm probably just going to have to wear tennis shoes all year or some sort of low shoe, like 10, 10 to 15,000 steps a day. Probably the boots not going to cut it. So. Yeah. You're going to need something comfortable for yeah. sure. Yeah. Well, this was way more fun of a topic. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> bull. Don't be mad than I thought it would be. And it brought in some interesting conversations that, you know, yeah. um, about shoe wear and um, just history of, sh not history of shoes, but history of females wearing shoes that have big feet. <laughs> I'm going to write here, Aglet, A-G-L-E-T, A-G-L-E-T, Aglet. There we go. I have to say, I'm a little bit obsessed with the style of sketch doting now. Like, I feel like I could go to a conference and just instead of having to worry about where all my containers are going to go or be, do a big scribble on a page and just sit there and listen. Yes. I feel like it's, it almost takes away the need to have to organize your sketch note. Yes. Here's the other thing for me that I like too, because I'm a doodler as I listen, like doodling helps me listen. And so if I'm not doodling what they're saying, I could zentangle while they're talking. And then as they say something that I want to doodle about, I can transition to that. So for me, that combines both pieces. Yes. It also takes away for me like that overwhelming, the piece of paper is big and needs to be filled. Yeah. Um, and yeah, because then it also limits the number of doodles you can put in it. Yeah. Um, I, I am in love with this. This is just so fun. Um, I'd love to see kids get their hands on this type of sketch noting style too. Um, I can't wait to see what people do with this. I know. I, I mean, I could have used this in the math classroom pretty easily. Vocab. I love activities like this for vocabulary in the math classroom because a lot of times we just stick it at the top of the page. 
but there's almost always symbols or images in math class that go with the vocab that you're working with. This would be so amazing. hundred percent. I'm even thinking we just started sketch noting in my social studies class because sketch noting is a huge part of it. So we do group sketch noting and we start with post-it notes and I'm like, where, how could, how could post-it notes lead into this kind of sketch noting? I'm almost wondering like a giant scribble that you cut up. That's just what I was going to say. So maybe put your post-it notes like on a board and doodle over it and you'd want to number them so you could put it back together, but then give them the piece, give them their piece. I do the like the, I like the idea of scribbling around the post-it notes. That's kind of fun. Oh um, yeah, you could do that too. Yeah. I was also thinking of like a big scribble, right? That I cut up and then they put the words right in the piece. So I'm still passing out pieces of paper. Yeah. That limit, you know, but it, I, it might be a hot mess to put that scribble back together again. But well, it could, say you'd but, want to number them like one, two, three, four. So you knew where they would go. Oh, no, I would not number them. <laughs> I would let, although it could be a really great collaborative. How funny are our brains that are different, right? Um, <laughs> <laughs> like I want it back together the way so, I started with it. I want to see how they put it back together. And if it's not the same, that's okay. <laughs> there you go. That would work. So see, yeah, you and I are very, on very different pages with that. So... But anyways, that would, yeah, because it would also give them a piece of paper. Um, That could be fun. Yeah, I can't wait. If you do that, please share out because I want to see that one. Yeah, we also do sketch, we sketch note, the sketch notes broken up into topics that goes along with our paragraph organizer. So then my other mind is like, well, maybe each scribble, it goes with that topic. So like somebody gets the character, somebody gets the setting. Oh, and, and then you have them together. Yeah. And then, they they, then they just loop the scribbles together. I don't know. I have to see how th that would be a like past winter break, you know, <laughs> thing. Yeah. Because I also need them to be fearless to try something like that. We, we can't try it, you know. No, week. not at the beginning. Right. Yeah. Um, This was so much fun. This was a lot of fun. Yeah. So much fun. I'm going to zoom in on each of ours so people can see them. Okay. So much fun. I like all of the words that you have in there. I just have my types of shoes. Yes, we went, I had trouble with um, the blank space. Okay. So that's why I went for like non-favorite shoes thing. You stuck, you were pure. I did stuck with all the favorite shoes I've had over the years. How fun is that? Look at that with the Zentangles in there. I feel like Scribble Sketch Notes came to us at just the right time. Because if we hadn't been Zentangling... We this would, would have been harder to fill. Yeah, absolutely. Correct. Well, yeah, thank you for joining us, Keisha. Always fun to have you with us. We did it. We did. We scribble sketch noted. All the dings and everything from me not turning off my notification. That's okay. We still love you. Good. Um. So, yeah, friends, if you were here with us and you scribble sketch noted, we would love to see them. Share them out on Twitter or Instagram using hashtag doodle and chat, or you can tag me or Mandy on either of those. Um, I, I still am going to call it Twitter. I'm sorry. It's just going to be that for a yeah. while. Formerly known as Twitter. Yeah, formerly known as Twitter. Um, or you could tag me and Mandy on it. We love to see when people are here and drawing and doodling, chatting with us. Um, and then be sure to join us back here next week, Saturday, September 9th. For our Doodle and Chat friends, we have Greg Cata, um, a New Orleans educator, also known as Gregisms on Instagram and TikTok. And we are ridiculously excited. Um, I feel like he brings his, he, he will bring his whole, a whole level of, you don't, we, we don't know what we're getting into. Yes. Um, so excited. So excited. September is jam packed. We've got five weeks in September. So we have Zentangles coming up and an original doodle and chat. And then Mike Muhammad is joining us at the end of the month. So it's, it's a jam packed September for us. So excited for September. I'm excited for it's time for leaves and <laughs> hot chocolate and all the things. I'm so all excited. The, all the things. All the things. All right, friends. We will, what's that? I love September <laughs> and October. <laughs> <laughs> Favorite time of year, right here. We're in it. Awesome. awesome. <laughs> All 
All right, everybody, Mandy and I will see you guys back here next Saturday at 9.33-ish Central Standard Time. Have a great weekend. Bye, guys. Bye.